All right, everyone, we're gonna have a quick movement warm up to get ready for our session today. We're gonna wake our body up and activate those muscles to prepare us for learning. Doing a little bit of exercise before you do seated work is a really good way to regulate yourself. So a lot of times you hear about sensory regulation. A lot of kids have in their IEPs, as especially designed instruction, some non-contingent sensory input, or you might see things like movement breaks or recommendations to alternate movement activities or seated activities. That's because getting just the right amount of input in our body allows not only our body to perform its best, but our mind to perform its best. We all need a little bit of movement and a little bit of exercise in our day. So get up off the couch and let's get our body moving before we sit back down. All right, we're gonna do some cross crawls. Let's get our elbows out. Show me your elbows. We're gonna take our right elbow and touch it to our left knee. Crossing over your body. Get that midline cross. Get those abs activated. Get your postural muscles ready. If that's too hard for you, you can have a seat and you can leave your legs down, bring your elbows and touch them to your knees. If you wanna challenge that a little bit more, try lifting your knees up. You can also do this laying on your back like you're doing crunches. We're gonna do them standing up, have a seat if you want, if you're more comfortable that way. Let's try them for 10, ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's give ourselves some nice deep pressure inputs. Put your feet together, arms to the side. Cross them over. Give yourself a big hug. We're gonna squeeze. Three, two, one. Good. Arms back out to the sides. Cross them. Put your opposite arm on top this time. And squeeze. Three two, one, good. Let's try squeezing our knee up to our chest. Give it a hug, three, two, one. Other side, squeeze it up, three, two, one. Very good. All right, we're gonna warm up our trunk a little bit. We're gonna do some twists, twist, twist. Put your arms out to the side if you want. Sweeping them across. We're gonna twist for three, two, one. Good job. All right, stretch it out, reach to the side and to the other side. Shake it out. Let's give us a neck roll. Roll your neck and the other way. Roll your neck. Great job. All right, looks like you are ready to learn. Parents, did you know that posture during learning is really important? We have to consider the height of this chair that your child is sitting in and the height of the desk that they're working on. Setting up a working space in your home for them to do their remote learning is really important for them to get their best performance out. Okay, so one of the most important things is that you have a solid chair with a back on it to really give you some support. This chair is actually a little bit big for me because when I scooch all the way back and sit up tall, my feet don't quite reach the ground. Ideally, you're going to have a chair that's just the right height for your child to solidly place their feet on the ground. You're going to want your hips at 90 degrees. So if you were to draw a line from your shoulder to your hip and your hip to your knee, it would be a perfect L shape, a 90 degree angle. You're going to want the same thing from your knees down to your feet. So you're going to want that 90 degree bend at your knee. If your chair is too short, you're going to have your knees up higher than your hips. And that's not really allowing you to perfectly stabilize, activate those core muscles, and get ready to work with your hands. So we want 90, 90, 90, 90 at your hips. 90 at your knees and 90 at your ankles with those feet flat on the ground. The ideal desk height is going to be about two inches above your bent elbow. So if you just relax your arms down at the side, look at where your elbow bends and you're going to go about two inches above that. So if you look at the bend in my elbow here, this is actually a pretty good height for me. 
I can sit up here comfortably when I bring my arms up onto the desk. They're a little bit raised. If my desk is too low, I'm going to tend to round my back and lay over my desk. A lot of times we see this at schools. We see kids sitting and working at their desks like this. Sometimes it's because their desk is too low. One of the first things that I do when I go into a classroom is make sure that the desk is the right height for the student. Raising the desk up above that elbow height just a little bit really encourages that upright posture. We also learn about tilting our bodies forward, so tilting into our learning space. So we don't want our desk to be too high because then we're going to have to work up like this. If it's just that right height, we can tilt forward where we're ready to work. Make sure that you have the proper spot in your home for your child to be doing their learning, especially if they're doing things like handwriting or working on the computer. This posture is not only going to reduce the strain on their back and neck, but also engage those muscles so that they are properly ready to do their best.